Good evening, and welcome to the Capital Improvement uh, Plan Committee meeting of February 4th, 2020. And it is at 5.06 that we are opening the meeting tonight. Uh, first thing on the agenda is we're going to remove, review minutes of our last meeting. And then we will go from there to proceed on to uh, some of the items that we have to deal with tonight. So I, I have two questions about my, at least two questions about my minutes. And the first is, the gentleman who was representing the street, street lamp committee, his first name was Reed. Does anybody know his last name? I couldn't I hear it on the recording. I can't remember his no last name. And the committee, what, what is that committee called? Diana should know. She's here. Yeah. Yeah, when Diana comes, she'll be able to inform okay. us on that. Diana. And, and then, I believe they were on the, I believe he's on the energy committee. The Reed, that sounds right. Reed, which is last uh, name? Oh, Reed Predmore. Uh, okay. Uh, P R E D M O R E. And what's his committee? And he's on the energy committee. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Julie Chalfont is the, the building advisory committee. Mm -hmm. And she said that she, her committee had been working on hiring an architectural engineering firm, which is. G is this true and is it GRLA? Mm -hmm. And that, just so I know, that is funded with the $30,000 with $30, that was voted at town meeting last year? Correct. Correct. It's 30000 from the, the town buildings and then there was 10000 for the church that was dedicated for the church. And the way the bid was written was specifically that, that they can't spend more than 10000 on the church and then the remainder is for the rest of the three buildings, but it's 40,000 total. Three buildings being? Highway Garage, this building, and the Senior Center. And, senior center. Okay. and the second, the Senior Center and, and the church, yeah. Church. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so, so the request for the feasibility study for this year, that's kind of being put off because the the assessment of GRLA isn't going to happen until. No, they're going to leave the assessment. They're going to still request the forty thousand dollars for this year for the FY twenty one, because. Uh, no, isn't it two hundred? Fifty. We requested fifty. And we're going to have for a feasibility <laughs> study. It's going to be contingent on. The, no, I put in a request, that, a written request for fifty thousand. Oh, that's right too. For the feasibility. It's study. for the fifty thousand. Right? Yes. And that is for F not for FY20, our current year, but FY21. In the, um, it, with the um, idea that they will be ready to do some type of feasibility study having using the results of the town building assessment. Right, the assessment, if need be. Correct. I mean, it, it's, a, right. it's a logical next step, I guess. Right. Correct, if need be. Okay. But it should be, we, we will discuss it and vote on that article. Okay or the request, you know, one way or the other, because as Diana said, it, it could happen. It could happen depending on. Right, the outcome of the On assessment. the outcome of the GRLA assessment. Correct. Okay. I make a motion to accept the minutes with the additions that were discussed. Is there a second? second? Minutes oh, of the I January 30th meeting. By the way, I think Jackie. Had That's to do right. It. So I would have to second it yeah. because we have two people not here. Okay, so I'll second it. Any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? In two abstentions. Yeah. Okay. So what are we? Four zero. Oh, so we got four, three one. zero two. Thank you, Jack, for doing You're welcome. those minutes. We appreciate that. Okay, and we do have Kevin here, so Hi, I'd, Kevin. Like to, I'd like to go back and uh, pick up with Kevin very quickly here. There's a few things that, just for clarification purposes, and Kevin, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. we, we appreciate it. We know that there's uh, been some things running around here. Kevin, one thing I just want to check on here, 
and I want to ask you about is that we did have uh, X Mark Lore 06 on uh, the five year plan replacement for this, right, for this year. But there was no paperwork on that. I That's correct. Yeah, we, we yeah we can we can make that go a little further. To go a little bit. Yeah, further. Yeah, because you're not going to get anything for um, trade in per right. se. So we figure, we, and when it hasn't been an issue so far. Okay. So my opinion is, is run the wheels off of it until it's not worth anything and scrap value and. If we gain another two or three years, then that's two or three more years, and okay. we don't have to buy something. Do you want us to just simply take it off a five-year plan or kick it out? Two I, I, I would. I would probably kick it out two years. Okay, is what so, we probably should do. So I'll, I'll revamp my 19-year plan. Okay, so we'll just FY that for 24. That'd be fantastic. Do anything with the excavators. Uh, Kevin just provided me with some information on the excavators. They, I'll hand that out shortly. But let's go back just to the Ford pickup truck, Kevin. Mm -hmm. And if you could just review that, do you have uh, that sitting in front of you? I don't have the copy you have. Copy Mine may be different. Just so run through some. Uh, Just run through some of the uh, options here. Right, right. You got it? Okay. We were just trying to figure out, Kevin, some questions came up. Sure. And we were trying, just trying to figure out as far as the cost in options and that. And sure. We're not, not sure if they add up or not add up, so maybe you could okay. just start us right from the beginning and run us through that. Well, going all the way down, starting at the top, you got 25, uh, 242. Um, the uh, equipment group 100A base is already, there's no charge for that. No charge for the motor, no charge for the transmission. Um, they charge you an upgrade for the 355 to the different axle ratio because this is what we, what we require. 16, because it's a fleet vehicle. This isn't just a Joe. You go pick up because this has to last us a little bit longer for construction and not a standard F-150 would be more of a, um, uh, a leisure uh, farmer rancher type deal, mm -hmm. but that's not what we do. So long story short is, is we ended up raising that up and uh, 6,900 GBW payload. Uh, it comes standard with the wheels. It comes standard with the brakes. It comes standard with the AM, FM radio, the tip trailer hitch, the tow package, uh, the running boards is part of the package. There's nothing I can do about that. Spraying tough line bed liner, worth every penny, 5195. Um, the strobe lights, that's not enough actually to be honest with you. There's more strobes that would be going on top of this. You're looking at the XL power package is 1170 with a $500 discount. So you're looking at 670 difference. With that, I have to have that package to be able to have the, the Bluetooth because of now Mass General or Mass Law, as far as texting and speaking on the phone while you're driving down the road, it's a one swipe. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the law states is you can't just even pull over off to the side of the road. You can't pull into a breakdown lane. The law states that you will not be in a travel lane or a breakdown lane. You will not do it in a stop sign or a stoplight, which basically means I'm on River Road I back into somebody's driveway if I'm going to be legal. So that is the reason why th this package is put together the way it is. You know, and, and when you're looking at the whole end of it, it breaks down to about $4,200. Out of that $4,200, uh, 2430 is, is the last end of it once you start getting the fleet options. So if you take all the fleet options, you add all them up, it's 2430. And that's with this, with that is including the six hundred, uh, excuse me, five hundred dollar discount for the XL package. Um, I need a cabin and a half. I, I I carry equipment with me. I carry tools. I have to carry all different kinds of paints, depending on what we're looking at for marking out. Um, I need room. If you'd like, I'd be more than happy to bring over one of my pickup trucks. It's a standard pickup truck with all of the stuff that's doing it. And I'll let you look at it. And it's 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 a it's a pigsty. B it's a safety issue because a lot of stuff starts rolling around. If I get a can goes out, rolls underneath my brake pedal because I don't have some place to put my tools. I mean, that, you're you're asking for trouble. It's a liability. 
So to be honest with you, um, it's not that big. I don't feel it's that big of a deal. And to be honest with you, if I was to go, and I'm being strictly honest with you, if I was to go with the standard pickup, I'd go with the tonal cover, and I'd probably go with the toolbox in the back because I got to put myself somewhere. So what about money is going to be spent one way or the other because I need the tool to do my job. And it's not that much money. It's not like I'm going down with boom boxes hanging off the side of the truck. You know, it's, 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 I don't have hydraulics in it. You know, it's, it's a work truck. I go from point A to point B. So mm -hmm. that's about all I can say about it. Sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm having trouble following the paperwork. Is <clears throat> your request is on the form was thirty five thousand? Actually, I've got I, I've got I've got nothing here adds up to thirty five thousand. All those those numbers I gave but you for the, for the original the they're 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 ballpark numbers. I can't give you an exact number on what it's going to be because I can't guarantee what it's going to be. The state bid could change for all I know by the time we okay. actually get ready to go ahead and do these. Fair enough. Then so, which of these pieces of paper? is the truck. I guess, you know, it's, I'm having trouble putting it together. Am I, am I alone? All right, where you at? Well, I've got I got all these. I got which, all right, yeah. so that that is nothing. That just talks right. about fuel economy. All right, so you've got this. Okay. That one right there. You're missing a page. Just sit here? Yeah, there you go. But what do I start with? I start. So with we started here. This is where we where okay. I started. Okay. And I went down. And I explained, explained, explained. Okay. And then I went to the flip side. The flip side, should which be, which he doesn't have. Should be one there. That's why you probably don't understand because you you're missing a page. Not this one. No, because that's just. Does he have that? John, do you have? Yeah, I got that. Side? I get no, two. wait, no, no, you're good. I don't know. Yeah. You don't have no, you're good. Okay, look at this. Yeah, so so I started here and yeah. I went down through. Okay. And you added that one in the truck. No, you're still missing a page. Because that's the tires and everything else. That's the last that's the last page. There's another page besides this one. Does anybody else have it? Not only the could only be one no, it could be one more page because we didn't have time to copy because we got cut off. Yeah, you're missing a page. You're missing yeah. Do you have a lady page Kevin? too? Well, He's missing, right? You're on back. This one my friend. Three pages. Front back and then and this. Yeah, but you got you got this. Do you have this page? Oh, I don't have that page either. And then we're missing page two. Oh, you don't have. And that page. Uh, so you guys have this page right here. <laughs> yes, so we are. All right. Yep. Thanks, Kevin. Sure. No problem. Good. So it wasn't me. <laughs> So that's page one. Oh, that's yeah. the page I don't have. It's page one. I'll just look on yours. That's it. Yeah, I don't have page one, but that's, I can look at. Okay. I can look at his. Well, I think two is page one. Two. Well, no, one, he, he one has an actual page one, one. One and two are double sided. Right. So maybe when he made a photocopy, you only got one side. Right. Maybe. I don't know. I can look at Jack's. Okay. So basically, we're looking at page one, two, and three. Um, yeah, one, two, and then three. Okay. Yeah. 
So this isn't the, this 25242, that's not the MSRP. That's the, no, no, that's MSRP the selling is, price. MSRP is 32580. That's the base vehicle price. Right. That's correct. And then, so if you, so if you go off as configured, the vehicle is 32580. Which is shown on page four. Which is shown on page four. The yep. V8 so, engine is $1,995. The running board's a 250. The spray and bud bed liner is six, are 595. The strobes are 725. The tires are 295. The locking, electronic locking rear end is 470, and the tow package is 595. And the auxiliary oil cooler is included. So if you're looking at the differences, so basically what you're getting is, is, is you're, you're getting the standard price difference between 25 242 compared to 32 580 and then they change up the options a little bit depending on what packages you get one of these as configured you're paying two thousand dollars for the engine and you're paying for the upgrade of the tire. Well, actually, most of the other upgrades are the same price, whichever package you look at. So it's basically, it's your MSRP is different, <coughs> bless you, okay. from what MSRP was compared to state bid. It's probably the easiest way to say it. So basically, it comes down to uh, Pleasure. right the packages. Now, quick question, Kevin, Two. as far as with the tires in the winter, two-wheel drive, mm -hmm. do you have to switch those out for snow tires or anything, or you're pretty good running all? Usually, seasonal? pretty good. I mean, I think I do a pretty good job on the roads. So, yeah. besides when it's actually snowing out, when I'm in a plow truck, by the time I need to get out of the plow truck, hopefully the roads are good enough, I'll be able to drive two-wheel drive anywhere I need to go. Okay. Oh, that just, for us? I just wanted to check, make sure you were good with that. Yeah, no, I'm good with that. Okay. Does that explain questions or anybody yeah. have any additional yeah, questions? Yeah, I got a couple. Or? I'm good. Um, with all due respect, I'm just mm -hmm. looking to save taxpayers money. Okay. Why do you need cruise control? Cruise control is part of the package. If you take the cruise control pack, if you take that out, you put the other things back in, it's going to cost us more money. It, it's just part of the package. It's okay. the XL package is what it is. Right. That's, that was my point. Was so it says option. It's not an option. No. Really. Now, if, if, you, if you like, when it comes in, you can take it out. But No, no. I mean, as far as the price goes. I, I can't. I, if, if I take it out, now I go to a custom vehicle. And as soon as I go to a custom vehicle, this this 20. You go pay all on This car 25, you might as well go ahead and go back to the 32 at the very least. Okay. Because as soon as yeah. you start messing with options, that's mm -hmm. when you take away packages, now you're starting to customize the vehicle. Is that because that's the way the state, the state bid this is outfit, the way the state bids that's are. the way the state bid outfit orders them? Exactly. Yeah. So, so no matter whether, whether this would be uh, a state truck, like the regular DPW guy, the, the state guys, whether it be any other town, if they're going through the state bid, this is what the vehicle is that you buy. So. And what is this going to be used for principally for the most part? For the most part, it's my truck cruise around that way I can look to see my roads go to my meetings go to my trainings um, this is a replacement truck that was on the replacement schedule so and it's eliminating which truck now the 09 correct it's taking the 09 off the road are we going to be hanging on to the 09 or is no, that 09, 09, 09 is going 09 is going and the existing 150 will hang on no, two. And until until it's it's not worth hanging on to anymore. Okay. So we'll run the wheels off of that, and realistically, for the most part, because yeah. the wastewater treatment plant, you know, comes by and looks for vehicles. That'd be a yeah. perfect vehicle for them to go ahead and start cruising around in. Right. So the two ten you would hang on to. Exactly. And we can get several more years out of that. Correct. Okay. I mean, because at least with with going to the wastewater treatment plant, he's not going to put the mileage on that I do. Mm -hmm. So so the longevity of the vehicle. So long as it's moved enough so that way you don't get mice in there, which is basically what happened to one of the other trucks down there. 
mice got in there and ate up all of the wiring. You know, that's when we started having computer problems. That's when the thing started skipping. Yep. Uh, it, it was just, it was a horror show. Besides what the thing smelled like because of the vermin waste. Okay. Which is actually worse than what they deal with on a daily basis. All right. We have discussed, Kevin, uh, the mini excavator mm -hmm. as far as actually both of them. Uh, it was the 305 model and then the 308 model. We've had several discussions on that. Uh, what I just handed out, Kevin provided, and he can go over it. This, instead of an option, instead of purchase, maybe a lease he has been talking about and i will let this just came in so i'll let kevin explain that i haven't as yourself i haven't had a whole time a whole lot of time to look at this so let's have kevin walk us through and then we'll uh you know if we have questions we can ask questions or comments and then we'll put it to bed and i think that'll be it for kevin for tonight and uh and he can go to bed. Right, and then he can, <laughs> he can head home, yeah. so. That would be great, thank you. All right, so, so I have two units here. Um, I got the 305, it's a five-year lease, it's a government lease, it's through Caterpillar. Um, going off of this, they're saying you're gonna not really use much more than 300 hours annually, uh, which breaks down to, you look at about 48 weeks that you're actually around because you get a finger three to four weeks worth of, well, you got 20 holidays and vacation. Right, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, so that's what they're looking at. The sale price of this particular one is 65,900, 65,900. 65, if you finance it, it's 66,300, which is a $400 finance charge. But then you take the payments of the 14,829,89 and you times that by five years, that brings you out to $74,149.45. So if you take the price of this of the 74,149.45 minus the 65,900 if you bought it cash out is you're saving the $400 finance charge and $8,295.45 worth of finance charges at 3.85%. Wait, you're saving, say again, you're saving, how are you saving 8,000? If we Finance pay, charge. pay cash. Because if, 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 you, if, you, if, if, if you do your payments of 14,829 yeah. times five years, that's 74,149.45. Okay. So, so it's about a $9,000 difference. Off of the sale price. Right, roughly. Yeah, 80, 8,250. Right, yeah. Is, is what the difference is on that one. Um, and to be honest with you, out of the two, um, I would much rather push the 305. I was giving the option of the 305 and the 308. Originally, again, the, the option, so that way, if and when we decided to go ahead and get rid of the backhoe, then that would probably be the replacement for it. I would like to respectfully take the 308 off of the table and only go with the 305, and I'm gonna keep the backhoe for the other jobs that I need to be able to do. Okay, so what you're saying to us that you, you, you would be more comfortable eliminating the request for the 308 at yes. this point in time please and just focus on the 305 correct okay so we'll just have to make that adjustment on the request all right and now on the lease kevin mm -hmm. uh you know obviously they're booking x amount of hours on a lease correct. obviously we most likely would not be using it that many hours. I'm hoping, I would honestly, I'm hoping to do, be using it more hours. Because right. right now, our existing backhaul right now, we average in there between 425 and, and 450 yeah. a year. Yeah. Okay. So, and we're not cleaning ditches and we're not putting in drainage on the side of the road, which is realistically what this thing is going to be more specialized at. Oh, and another point, I forgot to tell you about this point, is if we go ahead and take care of, if we do the project would be for small culverts, pipes, sewer jobs, um, digging grades at four hundred and fifty dollars a piece, which is what we now outsource to somebody else, which could come back to the town, which inadvertently can go back into the fund, hopefully towards the uh, cemetery upkeep, because presently right now there is only one cemetery that has funds for that one's particular cemetery. Mm. So think about once we're done filling the cemeteries, now it's just the cost of the town. 
So if we can if we can take just that much more little money, well, we can save some money and self self generate some money for ourselves instead of handing it off to somebody else. Um, I mean, well, it's, yeah. I think it's a win win personally. Yeah. No, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I guess my concern is with that is the time as far as your work crew and that. Right. You know, well, do the, is there enough hours in the day right. for us to be doing all these other things? Well, we're going to have to, to be honest with you, because so, you know, I'm running down to the point where I've got no choice. You know, right now I am in the final stages. I just have to get an engineer to look at it and give a stamp off on it, mm -hmm. is where all of my ditch lines in the town mm -hmm. is, is going to be a yearly, well, actually it'll be a, a full-blown word I want to use yeah. I'm going to DEP for uh, a yearly permit yeah that is so automatically an renewed yeah. unless I do something wrong yeah. and that will allow me to clean all the ditches in town our ditches our ditch line we have to clean out what I can reach this machine is not going to go on private property I am NOT going to clean out behind people's houses with this piece of equipment mm -hmm. so I want that to be perfectly right. clear and maybe not so much to you guys but the people that are listening um, right. If we do this, I can't go on people's property. Right. So, Too much yeah. liability. So you get like bloody brook, right? Yeah. And we're still going to have to get DEP to approve what you can do and what you can't do. Correct. Well, yeah, correct. Yeah. But this is, but that's why this is going to be a a one and done. This is the entire town. We're not saying mm -hmm. this is this small part of the stream. This is part of this. This is part of that. This is the entire town all at once. Right. You know, and, and I'm not going to say that I was a brain weasel behind the entire thing you know obviously I had a ton of help put this thing together mm -hmm. um, but I mean it's it's, it's a no-brainer and we've got to do it right. and to be honest with you 300 hours I don't think I don't think 300 hours is gonna be enough I'd like to see two guys throughout the summer I'd mm -hmm. like to peel two guys off mm -hmm. and just have a guy in a dump truck and the guy in the loader yeah and just just start working the edge of the road you know we we've got the area where I've got two choices of either shut down three quarters of river road to do where, where i was having that big embankment drop down mm -hmm. so i shut down three quarters of that road to be able to try and get the backhoe in there because i can't straddle the ditch because it's up like this so i have to come in and i have to work sideways yep. and then pick up and move and pick up and move the road's only so so wide mm -hmm. if i go in there with a small piece of equipment i can continue to work right. with, a, with a truck in front of me and dig and go and dig right. and go and we can just keep going only one lane of traffic and you know, if we have another truck behind us, maybe PD will allow us not to have to have uh, um, details. Right. If we do it the other way, now I'm paying 50 plus dollars an hour for details. And if I'm shutting down both sides of the road, I could have two cops. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this thing is gonna pay for itself in a short amount of time, personal opinion. Right, no, so. I, I understand where you're coming from, obviously, we're, Trying to do our you, you know, I understand due where you're coming from. Too, I mean, you guys so. are doing your due diligence, and I and I right. appreciate that because I mean, I'm a taxpayer, and you're yeah. looking out for the best interest of my money, also. Right. But but I have to stand firm on on. I'm a department head, and you hired me to do a job, and I'm trying to do the best job I can with what I've got. You know, mm -hmm. we, we we save money where we can, but the bottom line is, I'm not going to be penny wise and dollar foolish because that is what the town has done for so many years, and it's come back and bite you. If if I've got a project where I can spend another four hundred dollars and I know that project I'm not gonna have to look at for two more years instead of maybe six months I'm gonna spend that money because yep. that money is worth it all day long yep. so when, when I request stuff it's not because I want something flashy I want something new it's something because I'm trying to provide a service for 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 the residents right and, no, and, if, and if I can't provide I, the services right. then then I'm just right. gonna have to say I'm not allowed to I can't do this because I don't have the equipment right. I'm, I'm done Right. We're, or, we're obviously, I understand where you're coming from and where we're coming from. We want to be as cost effective mm -hmm. as possible. And this is something new. And again, we don't want to just jump into it, make a huge commitment and yeah, find understood. out that, right, we're not using the piece of equipment right. to, you know, to its full capabilities as far as time wise and that. So you come down and it's, and I appreciate you doing the uh, lead work on the lease too. Uh, because that's a that's an option. Uh, the rental is still an option. Yep. Yeah, I've already, I've already I've already put rental money into my right. into my regular budget. At, at least at least for a year or two, so mm -hmm. we could build a history, just sure. so you know where we're right. what what our thought process is. And I'm not saying we're not looking at these other options because right. we are. Right. There, all this stuff's on the table, and we're trying to figure out what would be the best option for us. 
for short term and long term. Sure, so, no, which I completely understand. But again, right. I, my my selling point is 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 if if we if let's just say arbitrarily we say two years we're mm -hmm. going to rent it. Okay, so unless we can find some place not going on a lease, just going a straight rental. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> say you're going to go ten grand a year. So that's twenty thousand dollars in a sixty five thousand dollar machine. Mm -hmm. So now, so now, unless you can cut the deal with them, that. No, you actually you can't because they're going to be renting it to other people in between. So yeah, so it, it's right. Well, you can rent it. Right. You know, uh, when I when I spoke with and this was just one company. Sure. Right. They said that Local guy. the uh, three hundred five was readily available. They have right. a couple of them, and yep. you could rent them by the week. You could right. rent them for the month. Sure. And you know, so uh, so supposedly, and that's just one company. Right. I'm sure there's other companies. He's, out he's there if you went to the one in Greenfield, which is the one that's up in Shelburne, also, he's yeah. He's basically he'd be the person I'd be going to anyway. Right. To be honest yeah. with you, because yeah. we've rented equipment from him before. We've rented the mini before because mm -hmm. we ended up using the mini um, up on Lower Road. Yeah. So and it's it just worked out to our advantage. It made it made a job half the time. Right. So. Right. I mean, again, you know, we don't we're not we're not for profit. But right. the way I look at it is I'm I'm for for productivity. Right. Is, yeah. is where I is, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And you have you have people on every your every, can, every person that we have can, can run this piece of equipment. Those. Correct. Everybody's yeah. licensed to run this piece of equipment. Right, yeah. They're, Correct. Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. Are there other questions? Yes. Yes, John. John. Couple. Um, how many hours did you say expect to use it? Um, I'd like to use it three better than three hundred hours. 300 hours is what the lease per year per year which basically works out to 6.4 hours a week um roughly you say two guys are going to be i'd like to, I'd like, the to project. See, I'd like to see two guys where are they at least 20 hours a week so that's a half half a week so you're either going to hire guys or you're going to not do something you well used yeah to i mean because i these are things i have to do anyway so so i do it with, with an effective piece of equipment where i don't have to it, my costs are less, <clears throat> my operating costs are less, or I go ahead and I go the opposite direction because these are all things I still have to do. I still have to put in that drainage on River Road. There's, there's, no, there's no way around it. If I don't put in that drainage, I'm going to lose the road. And I'm not going to lose the road over, and that's why I put the money into the rentals. Right. Because I have to do it. One way or the other, <clears throat> I will be utilizing a mini this no, year. I'm, not for I'm, for talking cleaning. About, I'm talking about my question is people yeah. now. Right. It, but, but that's what I'm getting at is, is these things have to happen. I have to do it. So whether I do it with, with ineffective equipment or I do it with effective equipment, I'm still going to be spending the same amount of time. No, less. So, but well, where are you actually, gonna, I'll be spending less time. Where are you going to get, get the guys? You're going to take Like you just said, they're going to have to go off of other projects. I'm going to have no okay, choice. Okay, yeah, that's correct. That is right. correct. I have no other choice. So, so they're coming off the projects regardless. Because again, I still have to fix that road. There's still some ditch lines I have to clean up. I have to. I'm having flooding issues. Right. Some of so. some right. Some of that stuff uh, on the smaller project, Kevin. Obviously, you and your crew can handle on some of the larger projects. So we we would probably outsource those, like to right. maybe the co cots or whatever. Correct. Yeah. Because like yeah. The, I got I got it, It's a small pipe. Okay. Right. Upper road. Uh, lower road. It's a small pipe, mm. but it's almost 30 feet. Well, 28 feet deep. Right. So I'm not going to be able to do it right. because You're I can't not, do it with right. my backhoe. Right. You know, there's definitely going to be a lot of things I'm going to have to, to bring in a contractor or right. or if I can rent the equipment. Because if I can rent the equipment, if I get a long enough project and I can rent it, right. again, we've got people that are skilled to be able to run the equipment. Right. And if I can save money, I will. Right. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's, that, that's why I boosted my that's why I boosted my rentals. Yeah. I have to. Because yeah. I've got I've got things I have to get done. Mm -hmm. So yep. Kevin, what would the life expectancy be on the Piece of equipment. Usually, we try we try and look at twenty five years. Twenty five. Yeah. So so when when you look at um, our our replacement schedule, pickups are basically about ten. Uh, the larger dump trucks, we try and do twenty. Um, and equipment, depending on what it is, um, twenty five. Some things you may get a little bit less off of. Some things we may get more out of. Um, like our like our sewer router right now, the one that, that the spinny one that goes down through with the rods. I mean that thing was quote unquote due for replacement like. 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's a 1960s something that that actually the insurance company really doesn't like us to use because that particular piece of equipment is inherent for people getting caught in there and breaking their arm. So that is why we went ahead and got that um, uh, 
that sewer jetter for $300 and spent like $1,500. Now we've got a $60,000 piece of equipment for less than $4,000 because once again, we're trying to save money, get the equipment that we can get to get the jobs done. And that's, that's what we do. I mean, I bought it off of East Hampton, same place where we bought that little mini Vactor trailer. You know, once again, that's at least a $60,000 piece of equipment. It was less than five grand. So it'd be good for 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 hours? Oh, easy. Easy, okay. Easy. You know, because right. it's, with us, I mean, it's taken care of. You know, when, it, when it's due for an oil change, the oil change is done. The thing is greased daily. If they don't grease it daily, they're in trouble, you know, because yeah. I went ahead a long time ago when we first came on, and instead of, I, I went out, we purchased two of the electric grease guns. So that yeah. way, when they're out there, they're going to do it. If, and I'm, I'm not saying guys don't do this but I've been in the construction business long enough that I know that if you've got a choice of this or this, this is the one that they're gonna use all day long. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you give them the proper tool to do the job, they're going to do the job. But if you give them something that's substandard, they're gonna go, eh, I'll do it every two days or every three days. You give them something that's easy to use, they're gonna use it every day, which is they're supposed to do. At the end of every day, you should be greasing everything you can on a piece of equipment. You, you can't go two, three days without greasing things. You just can't do it. Backhoes, loaders, whatever. <clears throat> okay. Excavators. All right. Any other questions or comments or? No. Kevin, just to let you know, we're hoping to be able to get through yes, everything sure. that we have left tonight, yeah. and we're hoping to be able to vote all the requests are at our next meeting, That'd which fantastic. is, I believe, uh, the 12th, which will be next Wednesday evening. Perfect. Excellent. If Thank that you. works. So. Yep. No, I appreciate it. You Just know, to give you a again, heads you know, up. I appreciate what you guys are trying to do. I mean, you know, you guys are volunteers. You don't get paid for doing this, and, and it's a lot. And I, and I do appreciate what you guys do. Well, and also, we don't. You know. When we went into this, we didn't know what a mini excavator was. Right. So, <laughs> well, so, 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 so we less well than others. <laughs> and, and there was a, there's a, a, there's a, there's a, there is a there's learning, learning curve, curve. Yes. Which, which is understandable, you know. And and you know, I, it was probably more of a shame on me because, you know, I've been around these things all my life that I just immediately think that you know I say mini excavator, they go, oh yeah, right there. So, but. But well, that's again, not private, housing, private but to me too, guys because do. I've been around them all my life too, as right. far as, so I, I, I have, you know, quite a bit of knowledge, but I guess my biggest concern was the hours, the amount right. of hours that we would actually be able to put on that piece of equipment, seeing right. how we had the backhoe, right. would it be cost effective, or would we be wiser to rent for a year or two mm -hmm. on the smaller projects yep. and get an idea, build a little history and say, you know, yep. two years down the road, yeah, we really do need to purchase right. one of these instead of just renting. Right. And because obviously some of that, as you said earlier, uh, some of the bigger projects are going to be subbed out anyways, most right. likely to a contractor. Right. So Just something I'd like to keep for you guys, keep in the back of your mind, okay, is it's, it's $14,000 a year to lease this thing. Now, if I walk away at year two, no harm, no foul, no cost, no nothing. If I rent, it's gonna cost $10,000 a year is what I plan on spending. Mm -hmm. So for $4,000 a year, you've saved $20,000 by doing the rental, by not utilizing that 20,000 as, for a choice of words, a down payment towards the lease. Yep. So, so one way or the other, I'm, I'm going to be yep. needing this equipment and, and I'm just trying to figure out the most cost effective way that it, to save the time <coughs> money. Right, that's what, that's what we're struggling yep. with. So. Understood. So, yep. Thank so, you very much for your time, so, appreciate it. Have a good night. One quick, real quick. So if you didn't have the capital request, you would put it in your uh, department budget, right? It's already in to, my department to budget. To rent it? Correct, it's already in my department budget. So shouldn't we take it out? Well, you don't know what we're gonna do. That's, that's why I'm not taking <laughs> that's it out. See, that's why I'm, not, I'm hedging my bets is no. if you don't if you don't recommend this mm -hmm. and if town does not it, let's just say hypothetically you you say no or you don't recommend and then the select board supports it and it goes to town meeting right i need to be in and, and you're in your in your voting the finance the same night i have i i got a job to do so right. this is this is what I'm going to do. So so I put that in there, and mm -hmm. if, and if this fails, then 
I'll if have, you I'll have, have the rental if, budget. If we say yes to this, how much comes off your department budget, roughly? Six. Six grand. Six grand. Six. Roughly. Okay. Because I'm, I'm still going to need. I'm still going to do more need rentals. Some rental money. Right. All right. You know, because like like very specifically, when we start getting in the areas where we got a little bit of ledge, because everybody was so paranoid about ledge. Oh, the only way to get rid of it is drilling and blasting, which was good at my old job. But mm. I mean, they make they make little little hammers, home rams now, yeah. pavement breakers that, that fit on the minute at, at the end of the mini. Well, we used it when we were on Keats Road because we had a rock growing out of the road, mm. and that was the only way of doing it was to go ahead and hammer it out. Yeah. So. Well, and you've been talking about this. I mean, this isn't our first go round on the mini excavator. We yeah. talked about this last year too. So it's not like we are. Right. We haven't totally seen, lost. yeah, right. or right. that we haven't seen that Kevin's pretty committed to this piece right. of equipment. Sure. So. Yeah. Okay. But anything else? No. Thank you very, very much, cool. Kevin, Thank you. for appreciate coming. It. Out. I appreciate, appreciate it. Let's go back to the capital projects plan that John had done up for us, and we we're working down that list. Okay, uh, Carolyn's in another meeting, but we had left off here. We just finished up the mini with Kevin. So the next one up was 150000 for senior housing. Diana, do you want to address that? Do you have anything that you'd like to present to us on that? For senior housing? Yeah, on senior no. housing. I don't mean to put you There was no request the, for that, I though, was there? <coughs> I, think this is, I think Carolyn, let me see. I know she's... This is expected to be requested. That's yeah, something that yeah. was on the capital plan. Right. It's, it's not, not requested. It's so. not but, requested. Yeah, no, I think request. we're fine. But was, Carolyn had, wanted to address that, and I, if I remember correctly, I told her we needed some paperwork on that if she wanted to leave it there. <clears throat> She'll be right out. She'll be right out? Yep. Okay. She's coming. So until she gets here, let's jump down to the Senior Center Church Feasibility Study. Diana, is that something you want to address or should well, we, we have, we do have. We just, a, we just talked about that right. actually. In yeah. a, we inadvertently jumped to right. that before. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have a lot more to say. I based, um, I, I don't have an actual quote. Um, we haven't identified a specific project, but the direction of the Town Building Advisory Committee certainly in getting the uh, information is that they would be prepared next year to start assessing uh, the results of that and putting together the next steps for a building project. So based on my experience, I did a similar 
um, combined building project in another community, um, and that's about the cost. We, we did a feasibility study once we had some, some basic data about the building, like you are getting. Then we did a feasibility study to, the, which basically takes you through um, conceiving the project and then through about 10% of design usually. So, um, and I just used that number based on a previous project that we that I had done that was similar. Okay. You coming in here? Yeah. Those are, yeah. That's trash. <clears throat> so then for FY21, the request would be for just $50,000, correct? Correct. For the Senior Center Feasibility Study? Correct. If it's determined that that's needed. So if I'm correct, can we, maybe the word feasibility study is part of our issue. It's not really a feasibility study. It's really the next step in, in a design project. That's what I look at it. But yeah. I think before you usually get to design, you have to, you have to conceive the project. Like when we get done with the town building's assessment, right. you'll, have, you'll have information about each of the individual buildings right. that will help you determine the next steps you want to take. Right. But you'll still, you'll still have to really conceive yep. what a project right. is going to be right. for those buildings. Right. The assessment's just a general overview of the building and, and right. the shape and whatever. I'm the feasibility of, study yeah. goes into a lot more detail. Yeah. So, so we're and, comfortable. And but design. I mean, I think bringing that forward to the town, I think that feasibility starts to feels like assessment. So we right, want to be yeah. very clear. And yeah, the feasibility study is a lot project. more detailed yeah. and gives you very, very specifically what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. Potential. Right. Like yeah. if you said, like if the, the outcome of the, the study said you want to combine two buildings at that point, then it would be, um, you know, does it make sense to combine them? Is it feasible on this, on which site? Okay. Um, you know, you'd have to identify some more specifics in order to get to a design, mm -hmm. you know, of, of the project. So it's kind That's of, the, what I was it's intending. the link, it's kind of the link between yeah. What I mean, is what is actually there? Because that's what they're discovering, and what is going, going to happen. To be, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Truthfully, we're still collecting information, though. Yes. No, I mean, no, 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 question, no, no question about that. And that, and that is fine. Yeah. Is I mean, next week we next week we'll have another. We're having another a meeting with the community development people, and hopefully we'll have some information on that. All right, Next so week. just to be clear on, on that, just to make sure I'm lined up correctly here reading this, we had anticipated like a $200,000 in that, and we, the request is 50000 so we just dropped the two hundred and put the 50000 in for the request, correct? Well, I want to be clear that on I don't. The I'm not trying plan. to. Yeah, I'm not trying to supersede. If you had a request in there that Carolyn had put in previous years for senior housing, that wasn't. That's not intended to. This was the senior that. center in the church. Okay. All right. Well, I think the question then is. Yes, well, but there, there's, the a the above, there's, there's a line above. There's a line above of 150,000 for, for senior, senior housing, housing. Right. but now there. But now there's no request this year. It, so. Well, we are we, still we, co collecting information. We just don't have enough information. Well, a, yeah, it's really okay. a placeholder that sure. needs to be kicked down. Do we just move Do it out another right. year? Yeah. So that's yeah. what we're asking. So yeah. we kick yes. that out. So what? the senior housing, the 150000 we kick out to FY22. Right. All right. That's what we want to know. And this gets the same question with the Senior Senate Church Feasibility Study. Last year, they expected 200000 to be requested. They only requested fifty. So do we kick out 100, the difference 150,000, do we kick that out to 2022? That's a good question. It's hard to say because we're still collecting information. We'll have more information by next week, I think. When is the um, report due? Mid-April. Well, oh. Yeah, but yeah that's, real, can't, right. hard to, can't hurt to leave it in no, the plan I, just to. Yeah, it's just expected to be spent. So it's let's, not a request. So right. let's yeah. do the 50 for FY 21 and do 150 for FY 22. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes me feel, I think that's more realistic because we just, obviously, 
Right. If if because, uh, opportunity uh, drops in our lap right. and we have lo and and it makes total sense from a financial point of view to pursue it, we'll be here in front of you. Okay. But I, I you know, we just I, I don't even know what to expect at this point. Right. We, we, the t next week is our first initial meeting. Yeah. The well, first, we I'm sorry, the first meeting for with the community development people. We're trying to. So where do they come from? They're coming from Boston. So we met, we met, uh, we met uh, a couple people in Boston at the MMA conference, and they were very interested to kind of work with us and tie it into the library project, which we always thought had to be like by itself. We've always wanted to join it into more of a community space. Mm -hmm. um, they think there's an opportunity. We're just waiting to hear. She's coming out next Wednesday at 4 to walk the property and kind of tell uh -huh. us maybe of other opportunities. So we, really we volunteered early. ourselves to be a pilot. Uh, with the anticipation of, you know, we explained our needs mm -hmm. and our problems. We just didn't have, I mean, as a community, we can't afford all these things, but we have these needs. And we, and we have CPA money to mm -hmm. leverage. We have community will to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so they were interested and they were, because there is problems with these programs that are siloed. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we're, we're, we're trying to get all on the same page, try to figure out how, as a community, we lay out our needs and how can the state help us meet those needs. And, and so, obviously, we would love money. So, um, and, and to make this happen. I have been trying to get senior housing in here for 21 years and, I, and, and I'm really sick of going to meetings and coming back with nothing. So I would love to see this happen I would love to, we need a senior center, and I don't need to harp on this, but, you know, there is real possibilities. Trevor and I were very enthusiastic. They were enthusiastic back, so I'm hoping With we're going to have... zero details at this point, so... <laughs> so I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping we'll that we can says. keep pushing Very them, and they can, they can do more than they anticipate. Well, I think that vision, I, I talked about this before, the vision of like a campus that it would inc include senior center, mm -hmm. community center, senior housing, and the library mm -hmm. together, that, that would be... Well, that was the whole point of, uh, we have community. a big, right. we it have a block of a property. Community and a community but we yeah. have buildings yeah. that all need wicked help. And, and also, not, buildings, also and those buildings, again, correctly. those buildings may just... I know. Need to disappear. Disappear, yeah. Right. Uh, you know... It also will help with hopefully the elimination of duplication. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're not Bingo. paying for the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a little bit of here and a little bit right. here. Right, exactly. Really. So right. we can just be, once again, be more cost effective. Yep. Absolutely. Just, that's, just, that's exactly what we explained. Mm -hmm. we, we're too little to have duplicate space. Right. And we, and we have true needs. Our community has true needs. And so they were willing to work with us. So I, I, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but yep. we want to be positive. Looking for our fairy godmother. We're going to shake them down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That makes a lot of sense. So we'll leave that. Fifty thousand for FY21. One hundred and fifty for FY22. Uh, the next item down is town common slash complete streets program. I, I would like to because there's been a little bit of a separation when this was first came up as far as the complete streets. There's discussion of the town common included in mm -hmm. the uh, streets program, complete streets program. Right. As the ad hoc committee met with Trevor and a few other people, obviously, uh, it came apparent that they weren't going to be able to keep those two together. Uh, they felt that they needed to spin the town common off from the complete streets design because of state involvement, if, if I misquote True. anything. True. No, it'll be in the master plan, obviously, but, you know, we want to keep it all all kind of together, but funding-wise, we can't really do anything with the common, the complete street project. Right. So <clears throat> what I would what I would suggest, and I'm open 
for comments or discussion on it or whatever, but I think I just reword this as complete streets program and leave it be as yeah, a complete take Tom Common out. Take yeah. Tom Common out because you're going to have the next column is Town Commons or the next line yep. item is Town Common Improvements. Makes sense. So you separate yep. the two yep. and so there'd be less two, confusion right. two for separate the public. Projects. Until I, until we take over Sugarloaf Street, it, I think that's the way it has to be, because we don't own we don't right. own right. the property. You mean Park Street? Yeah, we don't own Park no, Street. You said Sugarloaf. Right. Yeah. So we're going to take Sugarloaf. So last and Park year we, Why if I remember correctly, for FY twenty, yeah. we appropriated if forty thousand dollars, or recommended, and the town appropriated forty thousand dollars for the complete streets. Mm -hmm. You still have that on account, correct? We do. We do. So that was already voted, huh? Right. It was so, voted and so approved. So, well, they're yeah. requesting another forty thousand for FY twenty one on top of the forty you already have an account for the for the complete streets program. Is I that correct or no? There was no request. So. No. Yeah. no. 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 We were just we're not going to ask for that again. We're just going to use what we have for this year's for that project. We may okay. come back in another year, twenty twenty two or something, and apply again. If we can get another phase of that least, gun, it will take through 21 yeah. to get through. So if we got the design and construction for one project, it would take at least that time. Okay, right. so yep. on the complete streets program, no we, second request. We no second request. We can eliminate Correct. that forty thousand yes. dollars. You could push it to 2023 or 2025. Or I would suggest if, the, if, it's, if you get a successful project done, that you continue to apply. Yeah, complete right. Complete streets in every yeah. round right. that you can. So you could, but well, now I mean, that's look, or even put in 22. Yeah. You look at the, yeah. the presentation that was done. He has 20 projects mm -hmm. yeah. right. to make it up. So, you know, when do we expect to spend that money? Who 20 knows? years. <laughs> Hopefully we have a governor for 20 years that will keep it going. But, um, yeah, I would, I would recommend putting it in 2022 or 2023. I don't know how quickly but we the get the next 40? Yeah. yeah. Or what about after that? Yes. I mean, you could, you could plan on doing it. You know, it gets kind of fuzzy well, that, three that, or four right, years that, out. I guess that comes to the question. I guess it's nothing wrong with having a placeholder, but is $40,000 a realistic number for the complete streets projects? I when think got, so, because it when was got like 20,000 of... I mean, 20 items listed there. Oh, right. But right. the way he broke them down, he explained to John, is that they, they're smaller than 400,000. Right. They can be bundled together to go up to 400. For a grant. he said average design costs are between 10 and 15. So you I, figure 40 to... Okay. You know, and if you were, th you're right, you could ask, you could say, do we want to put the $20 million on the plan and, and, and put it out, you know, right. I don't know, so much a, a year, but, you know, just to have it as a plan, but whether we tackle that, it gets real fuzzy down the road. But right. if you look at other people's capital planning projects, they do have massive numbers for these big projects and they're out 10 or 15 years. Oh, yes. You know, that's it's that's just, what I'm saying. We're trying to it's a good give plan. our it's a good we're question to whether you want to do that or not. Yes. A we little could. more credibility here, right? As best we can. Thought on the plan. If you've seen other plans of other towns, if it's going to be funded by a grant, do they still show it on the plan? They do, and they show the column that where where you expect to right. get the funding from. So it might have. So they two do columns. another column. Yeah, yeah. You, right. Yeah, yeah it's another column. Or you could do it at the bottom. I have, yeah. I've, I've shared with Jeff an, a sample which I've actually started putting your data into and I'd like to present to you, but basically so that the plan has a column which has the total project, then you have your annual cost, but at the bottom, um, in previous communities I worked in, we had a, um, a section that put the funding sources. So you so each year you'd have, you knew what you were mm -hmm. going to appropriate, what was going to come from capital, what was going to come from stabilization, debt excluded, mm -hmm. and you had it all broken down and then that totaled your capital plan. So, But we would put everything on that. I, I think, um, uh, what we could do is put an asterisk after each one and just say list the grant program right. Right. because pending grant um you, you know i i, mm -hmm. I just i, I mean i yeah. i want the culverts when we get the culverts mm -hmm. on there 
but you know you're talking about multi-million dollar projects. Oh yeah. And and I don't want people to freak out that we, I mean I would right. only do it when right. we had grant money or. Right. Yeah, obviously the intention I mean, is to cover as much as you can with grant money, but yes. you have to be realistic too. If people want all these things, and I'll say it publicly, if people want all these things, you know, maybe it's, some are needs, maybe some are wants, people are going to have to figure that it's out. better because, to have them listed. Right, because you've got to generate the revenue in right. granted. You mm -hmm. know, we'll get as well, much grant money as possible but you're still going to have to generate some revenue it, to it, cover some of these expenses. Well, so. yeah, and, and, and truthfully, I think that we need to do that because the reason why that never even showed up before is because we always had it funded with state and federal. I was right. able to do it, but there is no federal funding at the moment. Exactly. So, so we're, we're having to match, and mm -hmm. we never had to do that before. Right. And, and, and that's... That's why I want. And I so want you don't know. All public. of a sudden, yeah. we could right. have a new Show governor that decides not to do the MVP program. And then all of a sudden, we don't even have state money, or we get a new president that mm. does an infrastructure program. All of a sudden, we have federal money again. So I think it's important that we list everything, and then we can say where the source of money is coming from, right? So that people don't get freaked out. Yeah. Because if you if you have Forty or fifty million dollars worth of stuff on there, and 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 people think that they're it's coming in the next two or three years. Oh my gosh, you know that right. that that's distortive too. Right. Yeah, you don't you don't want to distort everything. You're not trying to scare mm -hmm. people, but you do want people to realize there's a reality here, mm -hmm. and we can't we can't just live on the credit card. Right. We've got to be able to pay for I this. I absolutely agree. So you know yeah. you do you yeah. do have. You know, it comes down to priorities. Right. I mean, right. if you have yep. 20 needs, you might only be able to address the first three or yeah. two or three or whatever right. priorities. Financially, that's all you can afford to do, and but you might year. have to wait on these. But this year. The, right. You, you exactly. That, and this is why the plan is so right. critical, because you're not saying no. You're saying no, not now. Right. Exactly. And you can't save up. I mean, in a town, if I want to buy a boat, I'm going to save up X amount all the time. But in a town, you have to, you're have you spending all the time. You're actually not exactly. saving. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it's a different concept than your home thing. budget. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to just mention too, I think it's really um, exciting and imperative to put all of the funding sources and to put all of the items because I think you would realize how much grant revenues that you have right. used to leverage some of these bigger projects mm. and the available mm. resources um, as well, like CPA and things like that, and, and your own available funds. Just that, I'm not suggesting you use them, but just that you recognize all of the available sources of revenue for these things and then right. be, um, and then really be able to demonstrate to town meeting how much grant funding you've gotten to offset some of these significant oh, no. projects. I, since I've been here Alone. It's been over a million dollars that we've handled in grant projects in right. just the last year. Yeah, so no, I, I think I it's really I exciting. That, but I've also talked to several people in town, I shouldn't say several, a couple hands full of people, and a lot of them are a little bit older than that, and they're getting to the point where they're concerned yep. because of the tax base. And, you know, I've had a couple elderly people say to me that. If this keeps up, they're going to be forced to sell their house and have to move out of town because they can't afford it. And all towns have their taxes increased. There's no question about it. But I would just, life. I would hate to be a part of that. Where yes. we're in a situation where we have people in town here that have to sell their house because they can't afford the taxes. Right. So all I'm but saying that, is, you just want to be as yeah. cost right. efficient. That's, real, as that's reality, can. though. That is sometimes. reality, yeah. and it's also right. why we need senior housing. It's not really. I mean, that right. question right. is not because that's right. a, not a tragedy. The tragedy is that we don't have places for those people to move to in sell a, that to stay house. in town. Reduce that's their money. Really town. That's the me. issue. The issue isn't yes. that they, you know, and so I, I, I hear you, but I also think right. in the land of downsizing, we've got to give them a choice. Right. Well, it's not only that downsizing. either. Don't forget, you know, we're doing a lot for the youth, and that's a good mm -hmm. thing. We're doing a lot for youth, though, mm -hmm. but we're creating an environment where our youth. <coughs> are not going to be able to live in the town that they grew up in because yep. they're not going to be able to afford it. Right. You need, when, you need right. more affordable housing, they, it, more opportunities. It's going to be a situation unless, unless they can live with their parents or their parents are leaving them a house or something, they're not going to be able to afford to stay in town. And that's sad. 
when you can't stay in your own hometown, mm -hmm. you know, some want to, some don't, sure. obviously, but, but still you should be able to have that option. So Yeah, we hope to create those options, okay. opportunities. Sorry, but so let's go to the Town Common now, Town Common improvements, and there's a request, a FY21 request for $40,000 on the Town nice Common. Market. Well, that's not really for improvements, though. It's for uh, that's not uh, design. 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 Design, right, yep. yeah. And, so. and improvement if we can get it, but I, I just don't right. know how much. But primarily it's so for design it's for, and improvement. Yeah, yep. let's just word that design and improvement. Yep, whatever we can and, move right. over right over to improvement, we would do. But I expect that we would have this year get a get a design done, work as closely as we could with um, the complete streets on a side note to make sure what we're doing kind of matches up, and then uh, bring the plan back to the town and say this was ten thousand bucks or twenty thousand bucks, and we'd like to move the other twenty next year into production or the end of the year, in a in a or we need to request right. more money from somewhere out from CPA or something like that. So right. we want to. What, what money would allow? Yep. Yeah. And the CPA is not a bad idea. I think it's a good tap. idea for that money. Yep. So. For all of that. That's a great uh, idea. I mean, that, that CPA that's what it's funding, for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. another funding source that we right. should present to the town. Yes. Absolutely, because right. exactly. it's matched. It's a right. matched yep. fund. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, we, and if you don't, people wonder why they're paying it. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You got to do something. We have a. We've done a. I know, but we've done a playground. We're, please, we're squirreling <laughs> right. away the money for housing. I know. But it can't all be used for housing. So. I know. Right. So all, there it's is a significant specific. amount though that is designated for housing. It it correct. Only can be spent correct. For housing. Yep. yep. And, and for, for open the space. Four area. And we haven't spent any of that, so it's just piling out there. Does anybody else have any? Further questions for Trevor while he's here? I know we talked with down. the ad hoc committee. He's on. And, and uh, Trevor is sitting on that committee also, so. Mm -hmm. You're on the school committee too, though, right? Yep. Do we have any questions of, since so we have school frontier. stuff? I, I think we've covered them all, but while he's here. Yeah. I think Ken pretty much answered all yep. our school related issues. You, you guys walk, work through the the generator. generator what we do or not do I don't you probably know more about that than me at right. this point yeah. we have a meeting cool. I think this week so well I guess my only question is at our last meeting we kind of we kind of determined that that it was that the cost was the cost estimate it was way high to do a whole generator you mean yes and that, yeah and that, I don't know if there's a need it for be it more it should be more like 50,000 than 68,000. How much so was the one here? 45. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Are you running more yeah, stuff right. over this there? You got more freezers and right. stuff. The school one was 100 um, yeah. uh, amp because uh, you had three phase. You yes. have three phase right. yeah, electric. It's 100 over there. kilowatt. They right. decided, we decided that it had to be 100 kilowatt because of the generator because, because of the three, three phase. phase compared right. to the one phase. But still, yeah. even at that, it, it still seemed like Kevin, Kevin came up with another quote. With another estimate, which was more like fifty thousand, and was that to do like a like a temporary? No, no, it's just okay. a, no. It's an it's, it's a, a it's permanent. A small, Is that the thought though to go small. temporary or still permanent? No, no, permanent. no it would be a permanent so, one. So. You still want to do that? But, yeah. Well, well, I think there's some confusion over you know who wants to because right. they keep sort of going like this. So I just want to mention in in the fall when Brenda had come to me trying to close the books and asked, do we want to carry this twenty seven thousand yeah. dollars on the generator? She said, will you talk to Darius about? This. So I called Darius and I said, you know, what do you want to do? And he's like, it's not something we'd ever really talked about. It's something the town wanted to do. So right. it's up to you. So he said, you know, get rid of it. Brenda, I said, get rid of it. Close it out to free cash. I can't believe we're still talking about well, because there is, <laughs> But there, I guess, well, so let me just, I'm, let me say, I'm sorry, I'm protecting sorry. the building. No, so to. then the concern has come up. I just, I'm sorry, I just want to say, I don't want to be, but the um, inflammatory, the concern now has come up about some freezing and then some of the of food. Um, but just to be clear, we do, you know, we have insurance for those things. I, that would be a long-term event that would occur. So you'd have to have a cost benefit analysis about that. We don't need it for an emergency shelter. We have this, this is a cooling and warming 
Learning Center. We just put a full generator in. This building powers up like nobody's business in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. We have a regional shelter agreement at Frontier, so we don't. We have to yeah, do that. Yeah, so it's not for sheltering. So it's not for sheltering. Right. So I just it's not for sheltering. If the facility so it's bust, it's going to cost also, way more than 50 grand to re-outfit that damage. building. But you do have you do have insurance. I, mean, so I you, know, you but now you got to, you, where are you going to put all the kids while our building is frozen? And in, okay, but it's the, a mess. Oh, but yeah. the, so there's no school for four well, years. Well, let me make the counter Four days? Oh, the talking so, longer than that. So for 30 years, the building's been there, and it, this hasn't happened. If anything, our climate has been getting warmer. Can. Um, you could maybe argue about what the causes of that are, but it has been getting warmer. So we have a tendency to have ice storms more. We do have, we do have, you're right, we do have more violent storms. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would think that if, if uh, that Eversource would prioritize South Deerfield Center, up, you know, an upper road, we're not getting power for right. a month. So, you know, but, <laughs> how but, come, can I just ask so, one question so, I get a run? So just on that, just following along on this, so if we have $50,000 lying around, could maybe the elementary school use fifty thousand dollars for something else that maybe they oh, I'm really sure they would? Need. Yeah, for paving the front right. parking. There's a lot of other reasons. My only question is, I thought we were going to the point that we were going to wire. Our thought was we were going to just prepare and wire the building. So if you needed a temporary one, you could just plug in. It is wired that way now. It's all set. Yeah, it's what there's a manual switch there now. So you could theoretically you could just bring in a temporary plug. I temporary think that's all we that need. Yes, I, I, I don't think right. we need to right. do another whole thing. Right. I think you'd want a temporary. And I just want to make it clear too, so everybody knows, you know, as far as residents of Deerfield, this was not a particular request, correct? Or a specific request right. from the school department. This was just general discussion. Yeah, what the do we want to do? This was like before. we got this twenty-seven thousand right. dollars. What do we do? Do we want to spend it or give it back or wire the building exactly. and get it ready? I didn't yeah. think right. the building was ready, but I'll it's get got a more manual involved. switch. So you I, have. I to would just like to verify that the building is ready for a temporary. Yes, right. I think that's all that's needed. You mean yes? No, it's when you say temporary, you mean like a portable? Yeah, like you bring in on a truck and you. The rental. That's what we use. The rental. Is that what you use? Yeah. Right. So that's the kind of thing. Carolyn, it's. We did have that discussion last week, and yes, but and it wasn't they said the one of the was. one of part of the expense okay. was so switching from the from manual, manual right. to from manual to automatic. Right. Exactly. Oh, right. So I, I just okay. want to verify that okay. it is a plug. You can just pull up the stick it generator in, and, 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 and you just plug cover it the in. pipes. That's all. Or right. the boiler. Yeah. Could you check on I will. That? I'll find out this week and get and, back. And, and, I, I, right, because we have a meeting Wednesday. You have a meeting Wednesday. Yeah. If you could just yep. give us a heads up when Absolutely. we came in, our meeting is at five o'clock. We'd like to be able to vote all these because we're under sure. a little bit of a yep. deadline issues here too. Okay. So yeah, I'll John, talk to Darius. John Pachurik seemed to know a lot about it. I, to John did? Yeah, okay, John, I'll check well, with he, John and I'll check with Darius. Closely, he with worked with his father, right. With, right? With this building and you know, I got to run the frontier. And Tim Timmy Pachurik, I think, uh, right, was involved with this, right. and he could. He could give you a heads up too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Appreciate Trevor. your help. As long as we're on the school, if you don't mind. I have a question. If we play ceiling tiles, is that out? Yeah, that's out. Just gone. Huh? Gone. Or gone. Eliminate it. Gone. Eliminate it. They when they get back to it, when they get to that, they. They determined that other things were a okay. larger priority. How about door hardware? That, and that's all done too. That's all done. And that's all gone. Right. Yep. They they finished that off, so there's no door hardware request. The restroom uh, renovations no, I'm, I'm are still there. The with gym floor for FY25 is there. Gym floor was all done. Yeah, yeah nice. that's been done for now. But there's their FY25. They need to redo it. Oh. So that dollar amount request will be in there. For the, the, same. Oh. the courtyard, I thought there was a request, was there not? Yes, the courtyard, there is a request, but not for this year. It's for FY22. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, FY22, the courtyard is for $50,000. FY25 
because I did cross reference here and made notes. Uh, FY25 for the gym floor is 16,000. And we will be putting that in. Uh, John and I are going to work on the uh, five year capital plan. Also, we'll be working on that. John's been kind enough to offer to do that spreadsheet. We may want to talk with Diane a little bit. Uh, she had an idea on a spreadsheet also. And then obviously we're going to uh, show the complete streets program at 3.3 million plus design cost and at least list that the MVP program uh, for the culverts and that's for starting at FY21. We have that and that runs out for $100,000 FY21 right through FY25. Couple of things that we have to add that that were done uh, at the annual town meeting. We have to uh, mention that that was amended for FY20 at 19 million. For FY20, the capital stabilization request was amended from 250 to 150,000. We have to show that. And then the MVP program uh, at the special town meeting we just had for $196,895 for 2020. We'll have to show that. I think we're going to have to go over all, look at last year's expected to be requested. Yep, we're going to have to review we'll get, that too, John. We're going to have to do that and add a year. Right, yep, yep, and add a year. Because we're going to have to get into the FY25. Yep. The only, Jeff, not to. No, I'm to, listening. Uh, the only thing on this sheet we haven't discussed is the library. I don't think we've discussed. Nope. Oh, yeah. Is, yep. the, is the $8 million still $8 million? Because supposedly we're, the costs go up 10% a year well, or something actually, like that. Well, when Candace, when Candace presented, uh, I think about a month ago here, I heard the figure around $7 million. But I think we should leave the eight million and kick that out to FY22. Um, the eight million was the figure for like included right. inflation. Right. Because they are not whatever. right. They are not putting oh, a request in this year. So and move it out another year. Yeah. So we'll kick it out to FY22 on the library. And yes, I did have note of that too, John. But thank you. Appreciate you. The stress there is that if the uh, when when they get the grant, they have six months to do it. So that right. six months is a little tricky in terms of our town meeting. Right. So well, if need be, then we'll just do. A, we'll a have special, to do a special town yeah. meeting. Right. But just so I right. mean, I, I think that that's an important feature. I think people right. need to see that coming, and it's right. great to have it on. Yeah, it needs list. to. Right, and again, it needs it's to a, be there. a grant issue. It's not eight million to the town; right. it's four exactly. million to the town. And, right. and the library really doesn't right. have control have to, of the we timeline. Do to, we do have to front the eight million, though. Yeah, absolutely. And no, and I understand that, but it, million, it is. Right. It won't go forward unless the, right. yes. that four million. Yes. And and the library doesn't have true control over the timeline. It's right. you know, it's money that's been appropriated for library expansions, and it depends what towns. Um, Right. Like Receive Greenfield, or, Greenfield or voted the, the money for 19 mm -hmm. million, but it was it slowed the process down slightly. Right. Because they had numerous right. yeah. shenanigans going on. Mm -hmm. So um, that pushed everybody out because and that took also a big chunk of what was being appropriated because it was 19 million. So, right. Yeah. Um, how how is that going to fit with defeat the town? feasibility, the plan, overall plan of facilities, because my understanding was the library wanted a community room in it. Well, so that would be part of the $8 million cost. Right. So hopefully. where do we, for planning purposes, what do we do? Hopefully. Well, well John, that's what we're going to have the meeting on right. next week. We're starting okay. the process. 
we're meeting with the community development people to have a, a discussion that we as a town can't afford duplicate spaces. That understand. We do, yeah. But what do we use for the library amount? Well, that doesn't change. I think change. we still leave it it's as It's still going to be $8 million? Now. Right. Well, so then, that, 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 that doesn't have to, because we're using their, pro, their, their project is going to be part of this whole discussion. We are, as a town are being a pilot. They're, they're letting us have, hopefully, looser guidelines. A on, little flexibility. Uh, yeah, and flexibility in the program. It was my understanding that the library plans couldn't be changed. They Jack, are, they that's are what we're discussing. That yeah, that's just, what we yeah. went to the community development right. people and told them we needed senior housing and senior center. Right. And they said, oh, you're on the library list. And they said, yeah. I said, yes. And then we had this discussion about Deerfield being a potentially being a pilot to have more flexibility. That's what we've oh. been talking about. Supposedly the... Oh, so supposedly the community development people have some influence if there's a, if there's a broader plan to, to amend the library plans. So like the, a multi-purpose building? The footprint for maybe, the library has maybe, to... I don't, I don't. The footprint for the library, my understanding, the footprint yes. of the library has to stay the same. Right. But the, the, as the proposal. As right. the proposed, that was right. The design yeah. of the interior can change. Has has oh. they have flexibility there. Right. Yes. And the use then and the guidelines for the use have some more flexibility. More flexibility. So to we're all what meeting it was next before. week to try to figure out some kind of mutual. Because you know, initially, plan. too, one of the other crunches for us was, and I know the building assessments committee talked about. Obviously, there's a lot of crossover between senior center usage. And the library. That's a great symbi symbiosis, and yet in the previous um, library grant setup, right. that was you, not you, allowed. Right. You know, that was particularly not allowed, and so I think this is one of the things mm -hmm. that is a great discussion point with the community. Mm -hmm. um, and we want it to be multi generational, and you know, I mean, there's all kinds of things that are positive, I hope, out of this discussion. So we're going to start the discussion and See how, see how it takes right. us. Right. One more thing that we need to discuss here, at least that I can think of, and there might be others I'll ask in a minute, but uh, as far as a committee, do you feel that you want to request again for the capital stabilization fund? I think we should wait. I think we should wait and see how we vote next week. Well, we'd have to vote on it. I'm, I'm, all I'm proposing here is do we want to uh, list on here a uh, capital stabilization fund of 250000 Then next week, it'd be just on the list here. We vote it okay. as a committee. We well, vote I, no I think it should be on the well, list every year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for yeah. me, I was never like that much in favor of it anyway because mm -hmm. I feel like we have all these pockets of money yeah, and like the twenty-seven thousand for the generator yeah. that's been hanging out there for five or six years. Yeah, we have all these pockets of money, and then we don't spend it. Spend it, right? right. And we have a million dollars in CPA that right. we haven't spent any right. of it. And then we, we so I myself, I do see that uh, down the road you will be spending this money that we're putting away in the capital stabilization fund, and I will explain why. Because in the past, when money was tight, the capital uh, improvement plan just got pushed aside. The capital request got pushed aside unless we could squeeze it out of free cash. And I would hate to, with the way things are going, because we're, we're not generating a whole lot of revenue, new revenue, in, the, in finances. But our expenses, if you take a look, could be increasing. So I would hate to be down the road four years or five years out here and definitely have a capital request that we really should be doing and not have the funds for that and not be able to squeeze it out of free cash. So I, I understand what well, people are saying. Well, I understand what you're saying. And it's harder to spend than free cash. But, right, but as I, well. this, so I think that's a plus. But where, where do but we this, stop? But, we, but one of the things... I think we stop at around a million dollars once we accumulate about a million dollars in capital stabilization fund. But that's you, what I you think. You said, that's Jeff, we're not, we don't have any increasing revenues. But well, we don't. They're small. It's not well, like but, we're... But we have... Uh, how many condos are 
being sold over oh, there yeah. for three hundred grand a piece. Right. Yeah. Oh so no, that's that's, that's that and we you're have see, Dumont. Yeah. That's right. that's, that's an, you're going to see an increase in that, but you depends on what happens with the beat building over there too. You could see a decrease yeah. there. Well, yeah, but still, somebody's got to pay taxes on that property. Well, yeah. Well, it but they might be who less. Purchase somebody, it. somebody has to. Well, it depends on who purchases it. If you hear my mm -hmm. meaning. Yep. Well, how would it? What you mean? Unless if they if they demolished it? No, not tax profit. exempt. Oh, no, a no. non-profit. Oh, a non profit or a, or a charter yeah, exactly. school. Who knows? So that's that's charter what I'm school saying. would be disastrous. Yeah, it's assessed for John, your, six million. Your question is legit. You know, where does it stop? My my vision is we hit we hit that million dollar mark, and that's where it would stop. And then you have that money for capital projects and you wouldn't have to worry about not being able to fund capital projects. If you take a look at these requests that we're building here, granted, you know, there's gonna be there's gonna be grant money on some of these items, but it's still gonna take some town money also to fund some of these items. So, you know, one more thing that besides that that I'm thinking of, uh, which there was a request on. I know we kind of hesitated a little bit, but there is also a request here for the rec department. And on that rec department, they were basically looking for $100,000 per year starting in FY21. And running through to F, at least FY25 as far as, far as our five-year, but their total is looking at a $1.1 million request. Well, yeah, but that's a very vague proposal. That and, and there could be other potential and, funding and sources. Right. right. Yeah. It's but, the idea well, is to just get some money going. Proposal, but my understanding okay. is that we're still looking at some property for the first step for those fields. It's requested. They feel they need it. And we're, so not, I know we're not we, voting them. I know we talked about it with them, and I know it was vague. There's no question about it. And we kind of said, well, if you could get us more information, come back in another year. But I thought we were just going to table it, put it on the capital plan, and not vote right. on it, and just right and just see how it kick it into how it white. how it comes back to us right. it, but you the, know, as a more specific right but proposal i, I don't want to say too much here i'm kind of caught in the bind but my understanding is is the we town, can't say very much not the right, moment the town's just looking at some property uh, that they may be interested in purchasing and that's about as far as i can go with it uh, so Either way, we have to vote on it, right? Because it was a request. It was a request. So don't right. we have to it vote on it one way or the other? Well, no, we can, we, can, we can decline to vote on it, I think. Well, okay. we, and then we just don't have a recommendation. We, right, we wouldn't recommend We're not it, recommending. But we could put it into FY. We could kick it out a year and put it into FY22 all the way up through if, if, more pe if people felt comfortable with that. Okay. But I, that's something that we're going to have to discuss. So. So those are a couple other items that I can think of that we need to add to this list as far as for voting purposes uh, next Wednesday. We, we could say that it was, you know, that you're going to use CPA money for it if, you, if there was a purchase to go right. through. Right. Well, if, I guess if it comes down to as far as a property, I guess we could you know, for this, do the FY22 if the property, just FYI, if that so came about, passed, the go after the CPA first money and have to do a special town meeting. It's, it's, uh, I mean, it's still available. Yeah. But that that probably way be the best way to handle it, it. Yeah. Yeah. for now. That way it could be right. listed. So, your point is well taken, Jack. Are there any other items that people can think of? Diana, do you have anything else to add? Well, I just want to, I want to say as far as the ball fields, my understanding is, is there is a desire to spend money on um, ball fields development, acquisition and development of them in the coming year, so including FY21. So I just, I mean, so in fact, you've alluded to the fact we're talking about it in FY20, and it currently isn't on the plan. So that's why I'm 
it's been brought up. Right, so. yeah. Well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with getting it on the plan if, right. that's, if that's, that's the purpose, right? And even if, as Jack pointed out, you know, we could always not recommend it for FY21, but put it in the five-year plan starting FY22. And basically, when we talked to the rec committee, that was kind of what their understanding was, I believe. And they kind of understood that they needed to get a little more formalized. I think they request. understood that they that their plan was right. sort of in in the process of being formulated. It wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't something that they expected to happen. Yep. They didn't expect us to build soccer fields next year. They were exactly. No, I agree. Anybody else should, questions? Then maybe comments? we should have them change the request to eliminate this year's request. I don't if think that's we what need they to want. Do that. I, I think we can just I think we can just not recommend for this year and plug it in starting FY twenty two. There may be nothing happening and there may be right. something happening. Right. So who knows? So I think that's a good compromise. I, I think so too. <clears throat> Any other questions, concerns? Do we have a list here where people are fairly comfortable with what we need to vote next week? John, do you feel comfortable with that? And we can. I can read the ordinance. Right. Uh, right. I think can we, we just run like down John's real quick again, really like notes. what we're actually going to vote on next week? Yep. Or can I like so the first one I have is a culverts, culvert replacement. Yeah, and John then, has good notes. I I just I think we should asterisk the ones that we are not asking money for though. You know that it's grant funded. Yeah, I just want to know which ones we're going to be voting on. Yeah. All. Well, yeah. it won't it won't matter. We we still need to vote it whether whether right. they're grant funded or not. I know, but, but I think we should star them right from the beginning. So oh, that we people, we will. People don't get confused. Yeah. No. No. We will. We'll. I just we'll, want to know so I can review before we right. meet next week. So we got culverts and then Ford pickup truck. Is that the next one? Yeah. And then roadside mower. That's just the yeah. Ever that's forward. a pass through. Yeah. Uh, mini excavator. That's been yep. bumped. And how much is that? Sixty-six k, give or take. Yep. A few I thousand. thought that was bumped, though, John. No, no. no. Kevin, Kevin is. He bumped the Kevin expensive back. one. Oh, he bumped the expensive one. Right. Yeah. And then oh. uh, feasibility study. Yep. Fifty thousand. And then town common improvements in design. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mobile data terminals for yeah. cruisers. Yeah. Police. Data migration. Yep. yep. And well, rec facilities. I guess we'll decide what we do. We're there. taking that out, or we'll decide next week. I think we'll decide next week. Yeah, we'll decide next okay. week. Okay. So that's in there then. And then generator. I guess we'll decide next week, right? I, I think we can take that out. The only thing I, I just want to verify before we turn back the twenty-seven thousand to free cash is that it actually is wired properly. Well, we have I think they already spent that to wire it, didn't they? We, we do have an e well, we have an email from Mr. Hildreth. Yeah. Yes. From last week, that was the. Yeah, meeting. and I think they yeah. spent some of the money. And it says Deerfield Elementary's transfer switch is a manual style switch. And in the price for the new generator, it it includes the removal of the manual and the addition of an automatic. They don't need that. So, so I don't know. My my sense is that means that there is a manual but there. We'll, but Trevor's we going to follow up on I, that. We can double check. I just want to make sure we, we that it's ready yeah, to sure. use. Trevor's, just because right, there's Trevor's a manual yeah. switch doesn't mean it's actually have an wired answer for us. correctly. Yeah. And then we so have, all we can just simply leave, leave it there until I'm going to change Wednesday. it to 52, though, because they, they sent that email as 52,000. Do we want to leave it at, or would you rather leave it at 68? Well, we aren't considering the 68, well, and we're not even considering the 52. Well, their request was 68. Request okay, was you want to leave it at 68? I guess, we don't, okay. I guess if it's 52, then you just don't spend the, the extra, right. extra 20,000. Come back to the town. Right. Okay. Yeah. Come back to the and then we have uh, restroom renovations and replaced flooring, those yeah. two? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We also had, well, that's, yeah, those are the ones we have to vote. All right. Good. 
I just want to make sure the building is secure. Or is, what? I just want to make sure that yeah. we can, if we have a power outage in the middle of a ice storm, She's interested. we can save the building. building. Nobody is able to definitively say it's been wired properly. That's what bugs me. We've oh. been asking for weeks. Yeah. Is there any other questions on any requests or comments that we may not have entertained tonight? Oh, the 196.895. That, that should come off. No, I think we need to show that. For but not for 2021. No, that's no, 2020. For 2020. That should be just. Because that was done at the special town right. meeting. But we, I, I, I feel that we should show the 2020 with the, with the 19 million for the wastewater. Well, we've done it in the past. We've done, we had a column for what was spent after the annual town meeting. Right. Right. At special Six, town meetings and so right, like yeah. that. So and it will go in reflect, that column. Right, just to reflect that. Yeah. How much was it? One ninety six, eight ninety five. And then at the town meeting it was also uh, amended to the nineteen million for the wastewater treatment plan. But we're actually only doing eleven Right, but we're just going to, we have right. to reflect the number. I know <coughs> as far as what we spend will be different than the $19 million, but I, okay. we have to reflect what we appropriated at the town meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just yeah. but yes. know that it was, right. yeah, it'll be less really, money. If, that yeah. we agreed to do the $11 right. million. And the other thing we have to note was it was amended from the $250,000 request for capital stabilization it was amended down to 150. 50. Do we want a, a line on the spreadsheet for capital stabilization? Well, I think we should. Yeah. And, and what, we, good. I think we just agreed to put in 250, but we could amend it next week. Right. Right. Well, we can vote it. Right. Put put a line in and put FY21 250, and we'll vote it. Okay, uh, so I just wanted to know if we right. yeah. wanted it on here. Put it online Because it hasn't been on here before. Right, no, we we've yes. just... Just last, a note as a comment. Right, <laughs> just the last two years we've been just making note of it. Can I ask a question? Sure, a sure. a question about the stabilization fund. One of the things, I, I, I'm with Jack on this issue of like, what's the narrative around dipping into the stabilization fund? Like, here we set up this pocket of money. And the thing I like about it is that it feels like it's kind of secured. It's not random. Nobody's just dipping in there to cover, you know, pay off mm. something that was patch up, whatever. But what makes me worried, and it's similar to what Jack is saying, is that there's this chunk of money that we're not spending. When is the nuclear option pulled? Like, do we have a narrative around? That's what, a good question. When what is, is what circumstances? That's part of my uh, Yeah. My what circumstances objection. would trigger dipping into that? When you have when you have more capital requests that you can that that have that to be need to be, that have addressed, to be addressed that you don't have free cash for right. and you should be hitting those. And the, the way I see it and I I you know talked with finance committee a little bit about this. We finance committee has talked a little bit about it uh, in they were some members were looking at maybe hitting that one million dollar mark with capital stabilization cutting it off at that point and not have to not have to do that stabilization funding yep. of that account until you start to use that and then when you started to spend that down again when you couldn't afford these capital items out of free cash that's when you spend your stabilization, your capital stabilization. I don't think all capital items have come from free cash, though. Sometimes they've just been on the warrant and the money was raised through taxes. Well, I think, I think Carol right? the can money attest was... to the fact that there's been times where when there's been capital requests, we've simply put we've them had off and zero, kicked them down we've, the road. I was just going to say, there has been years where we had zero capital expense, you know, expenditures. And the reason why is... Like when the 
uh, you know, the recession happened in 2008 and 9. You know, we tried very hard not to lay off people. We cleaned out all our accounts. We didn't have any capital spending for like three, and no one got raises, no one got steps. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't, I mean, we made it, but um, we, we also paid, I, I think it was three years that we had very little or no capital expenditures. It, it, we've only just gotten back on track in the more recent years. I mean, it's taken us, it, it took us five or six years to get, get over that 2008 year. And when you get behind, it's hard to right, catch up. Yeah. And I don't so it's a real rainy day thing. It's yeah. a million dollars, it's a real rainy day thing. Yes, it is. It's, but, a, it's but, a rainy day fund when, when things go south a little bit for a year or two and you just don't have the but money the things, there. But the thing is, everything goes in cycles on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've been around long enough that it's already gone two cycles of where we had really hard times. And so I anticipate <laughs> that we're going to have really hard times at some point. And remember, and, I'm, I'm only one person expressing an opinion. Everybody's got an opinion no, here. I'm and everybody, mine. I'm we're, just we're trying gonna, to... Right, we're going to vote this anyways. And if people, people don't think that we should request for capital stabilization and that's what it gets voted that that's fine it's coming from the committee mm -hmm. you know we're we're a committee we're a team we're working together and oh yeah no, you know, I, so well i i i I'm, I'm asked really i mean i don't feel i think there are two big sides in this coin and i think one of them is that when a town knows that it has this kind of dike against some kind of you know tsunami mm -hmm. then they're more likely to take some risks Mm -hmm. They're more likely to be able to move the ball field. That is mm -hmm. really edging on a want as opposed to a need, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, mm -hmm. so, um, and I, so I like that sense. I think that that gives the town a sense of stability. It gives the town a sense of some security that then allows you to be a little bit more expansive. That's what I like. Right. The thing I worry about is a pocket of money that sits there waiting for for not knowing what that nuclear option is, like, are we? Well, I, I mean, the Kelleher Drive culvert is a perfect example. We did not know about that until it was inspected as part of a class, Kevin, that we sponsored here in town. Um, and they went out to inspect that culvert, the instructor in the class. And that, you know, is when we discovered we had this giant problem. Mm -hmm. You know, it was in failure. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we took 190 almost two hundred thousand dollars out of stabilization so i know it seems like we're putting these pockets of money but every time you do something it's hundreds of thousands of dollars for stuff we have road failure in two different places on river road potentially over a million dollars i'm i'm each and i'm you know watching it we've got a couple of different options on how to work on it but you know, if the road washes out, that's a major road, and people live on that road. Right. We have no choice but to fix it. Right. And that, that could go for the entire stabilization account. Right. So I, I know it seems well, like a borrow, lot of money. You could borrow the money. Yes. We could borrow it. That's absolutely true. But I'm just saying that you have things happen, in, and especially with more frequent intense events that we are experiences and weather-wise, we, we are going to have more issues. And it's just important to put money aside because you don't have the option of not fixing things. It does require a two-thirds vote of town mm -hmm. of the town to use it. So which it's is good. I like. I mean, that's the So like it's serious that that is people, you have to have a serious argument for people to support. Yeah. And that, I mean, and that's why I like it too, because it's not random. People can't just yeah. randomly go get, let's post a meeting and, you know, we're going to do it. Right. That people, you know, you have to have a good argument for yeah. stuff. And so I know it seems like we're pocketing money away, and it's just like CPA money. If we truly do senior housing, you know, yes, we have a million dollars in the bank, but honestly, that's a drop in the bucket. Right. That's going to be gone like that. Yeah, right. it's gone overnight. So, so yeah. the idea is you have, to, you have to do some kind of savings and planning if you're really going to accomplish some of this stuff yeah. and, and anticipate. I mean, we try, we're trying to be fiscally responsible and also fiscally um, 
thoughtful on how we're managing stuff. And, and so it's just, it's always better to have a little bit of money in the bank. I mean, we have a $19 million budget, if you include the school budget. And 70%, seven, we're getting close to 70 cents on every dollar is school related. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of flexibility. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of needs, mm -hmm. so. And that, that's why I'm so appreciative that everybody's taking so much time to put down all this stuff because it's good for people to see mm -hmm. that there's a lot of stuff out there mm -hmm. and that we're always hustling and you just, like the culvert business, it never really shot, it never was on anybody's radar because we were just handling it. And now we can't handle it because there's no federal funding. So it's important to have it out there. We're still going to try to hustle the money and then maybe it will just you know, not cost us anything in the my, end. Right. My only thought about the stabilization fund is, and don't get me wrong, because, you know, your tax dollars are, are paying for it. But if we can afford it during the better years now to put away in the leaner years down the road, which could possibly happen with everything that we have on the plate, I think it would be to the town's benefit to have that. But like I say, I'm only one person and I myself personally don't like living on a credit card. So, uh, but that's me. And as I said, that we're a team, we work together and we can put it to a vote. And if people feel that, no, there's enough and we don't need to do that, that's, that's fine. I have no problem with that. I can understand both sides of it. We'll just have Carolyn take $250,000 off the tax base, that's all. <laughs> you got that skip? <laughs> well, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just busting yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. We're, it's just, it, just makes, it just makes sense to me to have a little bit of pre-planning, that's all. And, and, and it, it's not easy to access the money because it's not... You have, to, you have to convince people who show up that two-thirds of the people that you have a good argument to use the money mm -hmm. so any other concerns anything that we've missed anything that you think we need to add here or do you think we're in pretty good shape any questions comments I, don't know. I think we're in pretty good shape I do too. okay then so what John you, you'll be able to work on that this week and if you need any assistance give me a Okay, now that'll send take. me an email. Thank you or so much for doing that, John. I really yeah, appreciate John, it. Yeah, John. Um, thank you, John. Do you want me to email it to everybody? Let me run it by you first and then send it to everybody. Um, oh, you know or what? is that a violation of the open meeting? No, it's the open, open meeting law violation. But oh, what you could do. Stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the open really? meeting law is stupid sometimes. You, okay, okay, there I've said Well, no, as long as we don't as long as we don't no, no, discuss no, 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 it, it's, what you it hurts can, productivity. But, John, you can email it to Diane. And Diane can email it to all of us. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Just, and if there's okay. any feedback to the, Diane, just have to, yeah. not, just, not to I John know. or myself. I know. Yeah. I know. Right. Oh, that it's just like a meeting. Email it to Diana. Diana will email it to all of us. And if anybody has any comments, goes back to Diana. Co comment back to Diana, and Diana will get it back to John. <laughs> well, come to my house for isn't, it, isn't it fun, Diana? We're adding more work. I'm coming, over. Coming? I'm coming over on the 17th. Yeah, but that's... on the 17th? Is that what that is? Oh, come on. Okay, so we... we can't have, discuss like any of this, though. <laughs> that's why we have to talk about it's, that it's now. It's crazy. Quick, we have way. to sit at separate tables? All right. <laughs> yeah. I know. Is that at your house? Is that what that is? So we have, right. we have a meeting scheduled for Wednesday at 5 o'clock. John, this yep. is the mini -exhibition. Wednesday, February 12th? Yeah. Yep, yeah. Wednesday, February 12th at 5 o'clock. Uh, look, now we're going to have to meet in the kitchen area because they have a meeting going on here at 6 o'clock. Right, Carolyn, your meeting starts at 6. So if we run over, we don't want to have to pick up and try to move in there. So yeah. we'll just... And I'm sure we will. My, heart, my heart's broken, Jeff. Right, I know. So we're going to head like to the kitchen. We'll go down through and we'll vote all these items, whether we recommend or not recommend, and then we'll figure out how to do that. Uh, once, we, once we complete the voting, again, if we have time, we'll review, start reviewing uh, the five-year capital plan.
Okay. Everybody Sounds good with good. that? Yep. Any other questions? Good. Do you want to go over the column where we what we've expended since the annual town meeting, or what's been approved since the annual town meeting? That would be. You want great. to do that now, or do you want to wait? We can wait on that. Okay. Yeah, we we've, we've run almost two hours okay. here, and I think, but. Well, right. We will need to do that, John, yeah. We can probably take out Where? the column that says fiscal year 2021 expected to be requested. It's kind of stale information at this point. Right? Uh, yeah. I think I think it caused right. more confusion could, than right. anything. We could, we could eliminate that, yes. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Just make sure that you kick in those couple of items, though, that have to be kicked over to, like, FY22 or 24, whatever the case may be. Yeah, I'll move them out. Right, just move yeah. them out. Yeah. Because, like, the $8 million for the library. But I'm not going to do the next five years. No, no, just I'll move do them that out when there. we get to it. Right, yeah, when we work on the thing. <clears throat> All right, so if we're good, Diana, anything? Good? What's that? All right. Okay, I'll make Does a motion to. A motion? I have a motion to adjourn. Second. Seconded. All right. Seconded. So we have a motion and a seconded. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.